Iedereen bedankt voor het wachten en welkom bij de perspresentatie van uh, David Hansko. Um, vraag in het Engels, alsjeblieft, en wacht op de microfoon. En dan starten we bij Frank Stout van RTV Rijmond. Hi David, welkom in Rotterdam. Wat is je eerste impression hier? Ah, thank you uh, for the first and uh, well, of course I'm uh, I'm happy to to finally be here because uh, it was a long weeks that uh, we we wanna get here everybody so yeah the the first trainings were great also also I felt uh, good today in the match so yeah that's uh, that's perfect. The first time that there was contact was two months ago. Uh, why did it take so long? Uh, it was uh, also because of uh, of uh, of Sparta, of my previous club. They they want to keep me, and uh, and uh, the ne negotiations were were not easy. But uh, at the end, uh, they 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 accepted that uh, I want to go, and uh, also the 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 clubs had uh, agreement. So uh, it uh, it took a some time, uh, but I'm here, so that's that's perfect for me. Why did you want to go to Feyenoord? Because there was also a club from France interested in you, right? But why Feyenoord? Uh, because maybe it was so long uh, that uh, I, I feel the, the, the Feyenoord wants me a, a lot. And uh, of course, I, I saw a few matches against, against Slavia and last season also, also the final. So uh, I saw the, the style of play is, uh, the, the Feyenoord is playing. Also, the, I think... Uh, in my opinion, we will see it on the pitch, but in my opinion, also for me, it's a, it's a, it's a great step. So uh, only only because of this that I, I see the, the, the interest. And uh, when I look at uh, me, myself, my age, how I was playing in, uh, in, uh, in Sparta, that I feel that uh, this is the, the right timing and uh, right step in my career. We have seen that you're quite fast. You've got a strong tackle. Your last eight penalty kicks went in. Uh, do you also have weak points? Yeah, of course. Like, uh, like, uh, like every player, I also have doubts if I can adapt here and everything. But uh, I think it's a, it's a, it's a good to have some, some doubt because, like, uh, like what? Like, uh, if I can, uh, what I was, uh, how I was performing before, if I can do it here in, in, uh, in Holland, in, uh, and everything in, in this, uh, such an amazing club with uh, great fans. But uh, in the end, I, I, I believe that I can do it. So this is, uh, I think, the, the most important and uh, never, be, never be satisfied and always to, to try and develop my, my skills and, and be helpful for my team. You can also play as a left back, but you prefer to play as a central defender, right? Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of matches uh, I, I played mainly like, uh, as a centre back and, uh, of course, I... I played some matches in a national team also in the club for uh, like a left back but uh, when I feel the best and also when I feel that I, I can help the, the team as uh, much as I can it's, it's a centre back and I, I like to be in the middle of the pitch to, to defend also during the build up so uh, yeah, I, I feel like this is, uh, this is my right position. How is the cooperation with Gernot Trauner you think? Uh, hopefully it will be good, it will be good but uh, we will see but uh, uh, I didn't train with him already, so we only speak. Uh, I, I need to say that all guys, uh, they were really very nice to, to me. To, to <clears throat> and of course, it's, it's a lot of new players, so, uh, so it's still like uh, everything new for me. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can, uh, we can show it on the pitch. And you're ready to start against Emin Saturday? Yeah, like uh, physically, yeah, mentally, hopefully also. Uh, I can wait for it, but uh, of course it's a it's a def decision of coach. Last question, number thirty-three, is special for you, right? Why? Yeah, like, uh, I, I choose it in uh, in, in Sparta, and uh, I think I had uh, three three great seasons there, and uh, it looks nice, I think, on the jersey. <laughs> so so when I saw that uh, it's a, it's a free number here, uh, I wanna try it uh, also here, and uh, and the club was uh, so nice to me that uh, they gave it to me. Thanks. Thank you. We gaan naar achteren, even wachten op de microfoon. Bennett van Vessem, ESPN. Good afternoon, David. Welcome to uh, Rotterdam. Uh, you're still sitting here in your match shirt, right? Because you just uh, played a, a friendly match. <laughs> Did you have to hurry or? Uh, yeah, like uh, it's, it's a new one, but uh, the, the old one was in the, in the sweat. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, great for me to, to play a friendly match. Uh, before the before the the competition game, so so that was really nice. 
Oh yeah, I thought maybe you won't take it off already. Uh, I think I will go at home with this. How were your first minutes in this jersey? Uh, yeah, like, like I said, it's uh, it's it's still uh, a lot of things new for me in the club uh, with the with the with teammates with uh, coaches, uh, what they want from us. So yeah, this uh, I think uh, it will take uh, some time <laughs> because it's a lot of new players here. But uh, already what I what I saw on the pitch and how I felt it uh, it was not so. Uh, I don't know if I can say that, but it was not so difficult because uh, a lot of players they they want a ball, and uh, if I have the ball, I can I can easily pass to them. So yeah, that's perfect. And also physically, I this is the even even it takes sometimes to get here that uh, I played already five uh, matches in uh, in Sparta. So uh, so I, I feel I felt uh, very good on the pitch. Yeah, just as you said, uh, many new players, also many players left. One of them is Marco Senesi. You are replacing him. Everybody in Rotterdam knows Marco Senesi, but do you know him? And what do you know about him? Uh, like uh, what I only say uh, <coughs> uh, from the guys, what I heard that uh, he was uh, he was a nice guy, and uh, and also I saw some matches against Slavia last year. Also, I saw the saw the final. So uh, so yeah, he, I think he's a great player. Still young. Uh, he's uh, at my age. So. So yeah, but uh, what uh, is most important for me is now is, is the present and what will be. So for me, it's now that uh, I need to settle down and try to, to play uh, as best as I can to every week. Yeah, but if you look to his qualities, are you quite the same as a player? Uh, we are both uh, left-footed centre-back. I think he was uh, or he is still uh, really fast and uh, also... Uh, he wanna he wanna play from from build up on the ground and also he likes to support the also attack. So I think uh, in these similarities, yes, I I think we are pretty pretty equal. But uh, like I said, that uh, this is the past and uh, I'm here now, so I need to I need to show it on the pitch first. Yeah, what do we know about Feyenoord of of last year, Europe? Yeah, I saw I saw matches against Slavia because uh, also our coaches they they use it like a, like a technical for for us because uh, you beat them, also also we beat them thir- uh, three times uh, in last season. So I saw that matches also some in uh, in, in Europe, and uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a great club. I, I saw the the match against Marcel here with the fans. I think uh, this is this is crazy, and uh, and I can't wait to 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 play on that uh, stadium and. And uh, and uh, like I said, I can say that now that uh, I wanna wanna pay it off. But uh, Feyenoord uh, uh, did to me that uh, they they bring me, bring me here, and now I wanna wanna show them that uh, this was the right step. Yeah, what kind of feeling does this stadium give you? Yeah, it's perfect. It's first time actually to to be here. I I was only at the training ground to and go to hotel. So every time I go past the stadium and I. Uh, like I said, I saw some videos on YouTube, also previous matches. So the 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 fans are incredibly perfect, and uh, and uh, how much they support this club. So yeah, that's only perfect. Also, some players were afraid to to play here in the stadium. Do you think you can handle the pressure? Yeah, I, I think yeah, because uh, like um, of course in uh, in Sparta is not uh, such a uh, such a big stadium like here, but. Uh, well, in terms of pressure and uh, how they won everyone every game and uh, how many supporters of Sparta are in in, in Prague and in all, in the whole republic so yeah I, I i you love pressure yeah i handle it there and uh, not many players can can say it there uh, so hopefully we will see but uh, yeah i i will not come here if i if i was uh, afraid of this yeah um Another defender from your county, uh, Milan Skriniar, he's playing at Inter, really good defender, everybody knows him. Um, but do you think you guys are quite similar? Do you want to reach his level as well? Uh, it's, a, it's a hard question, but yeah, I, I know him uh, from academy because when I was uh, at Zilina, uh, he was uh, still living in academy and playing for first team. So I know him uh, very well from there, also now uh, in the national team. And uh, yes, he he wrote me a message that uh, it's a it's a perfect transfer for me, and he's happy for me. So that was nice. And uh, yeah, of course, he's a great player. He weighed a little bit much more than me, 
but uh, yeah, like uh, we had the same coach in uh, in our YAF uh, and uh, in also Selina. then yeah, Gilina also in the in the first team. So uh, so they were teaching us in the in the in the same way. Thank you very much and good luck over here. Thank you. We gaan terug naar de eerste rij. Martijn, Football International. Hello, David. It's not your first uh, adventure uh, abroad. You went to Fiorentina. Um, what went wrong there, if there was something wrong? And what have you learned about that experience in Italy? Uh, I can, I can say that uh, about it two things. That in the first, yeah, it was maybe maybe bigger step than I can handle at this age. But uh, on the other hand, I. I I I learned so much things there, and uh, also to to be at such a young age to in a in a great club in with a lot of supporters and and uh, and so that how a professional football player needs to needs to work every day. So in this way, also I had a uh, uh, few matches there, but I was so young and uh, I didn't get the opportunity to play regularly there. But I'm I'm not uh, like um, saying now that oh this was a mistake or something. Uh, it was a step in my career, and uh, then I need to prove it again in Sparta. So, so hopefully, I think uh, after these three years at Sparta, also one year at Fiorentina, I think like a, like a player and also as a as a human being, uh, I grow up so much. So uh, uh, now I can be a little bit more confident to 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 come here and perform. Yeah. So that. Um, yeah. It had an influence on your decision to come to final because I think last year you could go to Premier League. West Ham United was was interested, but you chose to come to Holland. Maybe one one step lower than the, the Premier League, or two. Uh, I will also in in terms of league. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's not top five, but uh, I think it's top six. So then, uh, of course, and uh, and uh, to be in the in the big club to to play Europa League and uh, have the have the biggest ambitions. I think in terms of uh, of pressure and uh, also about the concurrence in the team and everything uh, uh, it's not easy and also it's 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 something new to me but but yeah I I I mean also in this summer I had maybe other options if I if I if I will pressure on them but uh, I felt that uh, like from the start that this is uh, this is what I want and uh, and this is the right step. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. En je rijdt je naar achteren, Mikkels, AD Sport Wereld. Yes, hello David. Um, you told that um, uh, your manager of Slavi of uh, Sparta, he used the, the videos of, of uh, the way Feyenoord played against uh, Slavia. What was it he found special about it? Was it the, the, the pressing or the, the way of defending? Yeah, of course, because uh, <coughs> uh, last seven years uh, we, we, di we didn't win a derby like a Sparta club. We didn't win a uh, derby against uh, against Slavia, so and finally in the last year we we won three matches against them in season. So so yeah, and uh, when uh, when um, uh, when Feyenoord uh, beat them, of course we 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 see the confidence that uh, they had to to press high and uh, and be confident against them and uh, and how they solve uh, certain things on the pitch. So yeah, we use it and uh, we I, I saw all these all these matches. So. Uh, yeah, th this was the things that uh, that we used, and also like me that when I was watching the uh, these games. Okay, thanks. Gaan we naar de laatste twee rijen achter. Jorik, Telegraaf. Hi David, welcome. Um, playing on top level is something important in your family, right? Because you have a, a wife who is a tennis player. Her sister is a famous tennis player. And how important is it for you that she understands how it is to be a, a professional? Uh, I think uh, this is this is. M most important for me, the family, and also how my wife is uh, is supporting me, and and uh, we are now almost three years together, and and all my best uh, performance is uh, is from there. So I think I I can I can say that uh, she she helped me a lot uh, in these terms to how to perform and everything. So yeah, and also now we have a two months old baby, so she understand uh, what I need to do before training, before matches, and uh, then. This this helps me a lot. So yeah, it's it's perfect to have a sports family because we are a little bit of freaks <laughs> during the during the matches and uh, always we in the in home we are watching the the tennis tournaments or and then in the evening football. So this is our family. And did she encourage you to uh, to move to Rotterdam? 
yeah, yeah she was like also like uh, of course it's it's not now only about me but uh yeah she she understand it and also that uh, she was uh, very happy that uh, the the interest come and uh, and always we we wanted uh, to to go abroad and uh, and try to to challenge ourselves what do you think about the jersey because it looks uh, a lot of the <laughs> the, the kid of uh, Slavia Prague, the rivals of, of Sparta Prague. Yeah, yeah, a lot of our fans from Sparta, they wrote me that uh, it's, it's not so nice, but uh, for me the most important is his is, is logo. And uh, this is a uh, logo of Feyenoord, so I think uh, it, it looks nice to me, so yeah, I, can, I need to get used to it because this was biggest, uh, big, our biggest rival, but for me now this is a, this is a Feyenoord jersey that uh, I want to play best in that uh, jersey. Good luck. Thank you. Dank iedereen en uh, tot de volgende keer.